Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Um, today I'm going to be going through um, eDrawings. It's a free viewer from SolidWorks. Um, it's a handy tool if you've ever been sent a 3D model and you don't have um, SolidWorks because it's free to download. Um, if you want to know how to export a model to eDrawings, um, please click the link and view my other quick tutorial video on how to export a model um, into eDrawings. Um, but if you're new to 3D viewers, um, let's get started and I'll just give you the basics on how to uh, view a model. So just to get started, up here you have all your view icons. So you have select, which enables you to select your surfaces. You have pan, which makes you move it around, up and down. Orbit, which lets you orbit and rotate around the model. You have zoom, self-explanatory, keep your finger on. Uh, your left mouse button, you can zoom in and out. Um, zoom to fit, so you click the area you would like to zoom in on, dra drag a box around it, and it zooms into it. Zoom all, which will zoom out and show you the whole part. Um, you also have your view orientation, so that's the front, uh, left side, bottom, right side. So these are just your set views. If I go back to the select arrow and click a flat surface, I can go back to the view orientation and click normal to plane and it will view square on to the surface I've selected. You've also got wireframe on the end if you want to just view it in wireframe, shaded uh, with wireframe or just shaded with no edges. So that's your view settings. If you go down to the bottom left, you have animate and reset. If I click reset, it just puts it back in the original view. I'll just put it back on shaded with wireframe. To measure, you just click measure and you, um, arc measurements. You can uh, is set at center to center. My, le uh, my length uh, units, I want to be millimeters and angles in degrees. So if I click that circle at the top, it's telling me the diameter is 62 millimeters and the depth of the hole is 177 millimeters. Same again, I can just click circ that circular surface and it should give me the diameter. Oh, it's because what basically what I've done there wrong is it's it's I've selected two things at once and it's coming up with invalid combination. So if I just press escape, go and measure again and click that surface, it's telling me the diameter of the middle of the wheel is 29 mil. So press escape again. So that's the measurement tool. It's quite easy to use. And um, you, you also have section views. So you can select, if you wanted to put a section through your model, you can drag it and select the direction down here. You'd like to do it up and down. You also have, so you've got all your orientations. You can also do normal to your section view by clicking the normal to arrow there. Just exit out of that. Down in the bottom right, you have mass properties. So it just tells you the density, um, which is wrong because it's not being set up properly. But if you've got this model from a proper design house, they should have that set up. Uh, your mass, volume, and surface area. Um, you can also annotate and mark up if you're commenting on it, um, which I'm not going to do today. And you also if it's been exported with multiple configurations, you can have multiple sizes of the same part in the same file. So that's 100 mil, and then you've got 50 mil, 65 mil, and 80 mil. So they're going up in sizes. I hope you found this little tutorial on how to use eDrawings helpful. If you have, please subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.